welcome to my last France video. If you haven't watched any of the other ones, I'll link the first Paris video up here and then I do go to a few other towns. And now I am here in, hopefully I can say it right, Alva Suaz. Um, I definitely have to look up the pronunciation again because I've already forgotten it. But this is definitely one of the locations I've been most excited to visit because not only is it a super picturesque little town, it is also where Vincent van Gogh spent the last few years of his life and where he died. And of course, van Gogh is one of my favorite um, painters. He's known for his impressionist style and unfortunately in his life he was not recognized as the genius that he was but now he is one of the most influential and famous painters in the world. It's actually a tragedy and I always think of that Doctor Who episode and it makes me so sad if you know you know. And I am going to be saying it Van Gogh even though that's not really correct that's more the British way. Um, in America we say, we say Van Gogh but in Dutch it's actually way more like guttural and I just I can't do it I'm not gonna try but I do just like the sound of Van Gogh better and it sounds a little bit more correct than the American way so that's why I'm gonna say it like that. Van Gogh also painted a lot of scenes from this town so as you wander around you can see a lot of places that he saw and painted which is just amazing to me and I'm definitely excited to see all those locations and just explore the cute town and just wander around. First up, I visited the Over Church, which is super cute inside and out. It is much smaller and simpler than the other cathedrals I've seen on this trip, but still one of my favorites. The church is famous for being the subject of one of Van Gogh's paintings. It is such a nice, beautiful day today, warm. I'm really happy because if you saw the last few videos, it's been really rainy and chilly, but oh, yeah, the sun is just so nice. It is mid-April, so lots of flowers, but still some stuff growing in, but beautiful today. After the church, I walked up the hill to the cemetery to visit Vincent's grave. He is buried next to his brother, Theo, who was always his biggest supporter. Auvers sur oise is usually visited as a day trip from Paris. You can take the train like I did, or you can book a tour. I've seen a few tour groups wandering around, so whatever you wanna do. I am gonna be here two nights, so I can do kind of a leisurely visit, and then from here, I'm gonna fly home. Alright, I've finally checked into my Airbnb. It is like three times bigger than the last one I was in. I haven't given any tours of my accommodations on this trip, but I am going to give a little tour of this one because it is super cute. So let's go look around. Okay, you walk in, there's a room just for the toilet. And then the rest of the bathroom is over here. Wish I had this earlier. Then there's a nice little kitchen area, just, you know, kitchenette walk through here and this is the living area and there is a nice little garden view across the street a place to eat and then the bedroom and i love this wallpaper it's so pretty yeah so it's a really cute airbnb Okay, I just did the Van Gogh house and it's obviously a must if you come to a Vorsairois. It is seven euros and there's no photography allowed, but let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about it. It's a guided tour. You can do it in French or English and then you get to go upstairs and see two rooms. One is the room where Vincent stayed for only 70 days. He was actually only here 70 days and he did 75 plus paintings but it's a very small room, just big enough for a bed and a table pretty much. 
and then that is also where he died he did shoot himself in the chest somewhere else and then he didn't die immediately he went back to the room and died two days later with his brother at his side and then the other room is just another room where another painter stayed right next to him and that one actually has furniture in it the one that van gogh stayed in they burned all the furniture and stuff because he committed suicide but the other room has a bed and table and stuff so you can kind of see what it looked like with furnishings and then there's also a short like 12 minute video that you watch with photos from the time period some of vincent's paintings and then quotes from his journals and letters also the place where he stayed was just a small inn above a restaurant and you can eat there today if you would like and you can see the table where vincent used to eat After the Van Gogh house, I just wandered around and took some photos. I can definitely see why Vincent was so inspired by this place. It is beautiful. And like I said earlier, it's such a beautiful day. I, I am just so happy. Um, I ended up eating at a restaurant. Yes, I actually ate out, which I know is crazy because normally when I go on trips, I just eat sandwiches, salads, wraps from the grocery store, you know, maybe American fast food, you know, cheap stuff. But I actually went out. This is my first time actually going out to like a sit down restaurant by myself. So I'm pretty proud of that. It's Sunday and the grocery store is closed um, early. So that's the only reason why I ended up going out to eat. But a lot of restaurants are closed early on Sunday, but I did find a Chinese restaurant that was open and I'll show you what I got. I had a mixed seafood dish with mango and it was really good. And then they brought out the dessert menu and I ended up getting a banana split, which I know it's not very French, but I was kind of hot and it was delicious. Now I'm going to go chill in the adorable Airbnb, probably try to call my parents, see if I can actually talk to my my mom because we don't have very good scheduling she's always really busy so anyway I'll see you tomorrow okay so here's a hot tip if you plan on coming to over Sirwaz on Monday um, expect things to be closed pretty much all the tourist attractions are closed today which is actually not that bad because for photography that means there aren't a lot of tourists wandering around so i'm hopefully gonna get some more photos it is overcast right now i think the sun is maybe supposed to come out later a little bit but we'll see i'm actually planning on taking some selfies i got my tripod brought it all the way to france might as well use it so i'm excited let's go wander around Okay, so I took some self-portraits. I'll show them on the screen if they turned out. They were kind of awkward to take because people were walking by occasionally and I was in front of people's houses and I felt weird. But now I'm trying to recreate this Van Gogh painting in this exact spot where he painted it. Am I insane? I don't know. Hopefully it turns out and I'll show it on the screen. Originally, I tried the photo as a self-portrait, but when a couple walked by, I snapped a quick photo of them. I'm really happy with how it turned out. What do you think? For lunch, I grabbed a quiche and a croissant from a local bakery called Mums. I also bought a yummy raspberry pastry for after dinner. I'm back out wandering around. Like I said, pretty much everything's closed, but I just wanna go see this part of town that I haven't wandered to yet and maybe take some more photos. Tomorrow, I don't have to leave the Airbnb to get to the airport until like 11. So I'm gonna try to get up early hopefully. And it's actually supposed to be sunny tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get up early and go out and maybe take some more photos. Okay, well, I've come to the house of the doctor who treated Van Gogh while he was here. Obviously, it's closed and I can only just barely see the top of it over the wall. But I did just kind of want to come down here and see and tell you a little bit about it, I guess. He was a homeopathic doctor and he used plants to kind of help with Van Gogh's melancholy or depression, as we would call it today. He also recommended that he paint and use painting as a way to cope. 
but unfortunately it all kind of came to a head and obviously Van Gogh did end up killing himself but he and the doctor did become friends during the treatment process and he did famously paint him. I'll try to get the painting up here on the screen so you can see that at least because we aren't going to see the house. It is also free to go inside. If you're here, make sure you come on a day that isn't Monday or Tuesday. Behind me up there is the Overs Chateau, which is actually where Van Gogh shot himself before walking back to his apartment and eventually dying there. It does cost 12 euro to go inside and it's like a museum, I think an art museum. And then there's also a beautiful garden area. I did get one little clip yesterday, so I'll show that, but otherwise it is closed today. think I mentioned it yesterday but there's like a whole like artist walk or painters walk or whatever they call it that you can take here and it will take you to all the different like sites where he painted and different important buildings. I've already shown you some of the placards and stuff that they have and I've already shown you a lot of the locations but just so you know you aren't gonna get lost when you're here there's lots of different signs for everything. One thing I find really interesting is the last painting that Van Gogh did the day he died called The Roots. It wasn't until 2020 that they found like the location where he painted it and it's just behind me. They kind of have it blocked off but it's some tree roots and someone was able to identify the location based on an old postcard that he saw so I think that's really cool that they are like keeping history alive. up to the tomb again just so I can get a better photo and better light but this canola field which I kind of showed yesterday but oh my god it is just beautiful so bright and yellow I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I don't think I'm gonna do any vlogging tomorrow I'll probably just focus on taking a few photos real quick before I leave and I pretty much covered everything in town except for the stuff that was closed. Um, there are a bunch of other museums and art galleries and historic houses to check out. Unfortunately, like I said, they're all closed today. Some of them are free, some of them cost money, but just wandering around town and seeing all this stuff is just great even if you don't want to spend any money like me but yeah i definitely suggest coming here you can do it as a day trip from paris or you can spend a couple days here like i did thank you so much for watching have an awesome day don't forget to subscribe i don't know where my travels are going to take me from here but i hope you stick around and i'll see you next time now i'm why why is there always a car when i record or a motorcycle okay <clears throat> test test test